<laughs> hey, so this this is an interesting one, Gonky, because I I personally don't understand the politics necessarily, but we could mm -hmm. talk about it a little bit. So Denmark strikes deal to offload 24 F-16 fighter jets to Argentina. Amidst their fleet replacement, Denmark finds buyer for surplus jets in Argentina. Um, they've sealed the deal uh, for 24 jets. They're going to obviously upgrade to the F-35. They had 43 between 1980 and 1997. So um, that's a lot. But the entire fleet is going to be F-35s, and they decided to sell 24 to Argentina, which the Danish jets are actually upgraded. They're midlife upgrade Vipers. They're not just you know the, the original ones. But in a collaborative effort led by Denmark and Allied Nations, Ukraine Air Force is receiving F-16 uh to equip uh, the Ukrainian Air Force Gonki. Did we talk? Because I've gotten, and the reason I wanted to bring this up is because people have sent this to me. They're like, I can't believe Denmark's doing this. Is it because they're upset because they think that all 24 jets should go to Ukraine? Or is there something against Argentina? Or is there something that I'm missing altogether? I don't know, man. It might be a combination of a little bit of everything <laughs> because you know, the, the, the Ukraine piece, they can only, you, you, you can't throw, you know, unlimited amounts of jets because they have to have places to keep them. They have to have maintainers. They have to have the infrastructure. You can't just go, here's, you know, all of our jets. Good luck. Second, they're still a country with a budget and they have to sell and get money right. and, and, you know, fund their, their F 35 opportunity. And third, the U.S. controls exports. The State Department, when you buy an F-16 from the U.S., it comes with conditions. And the conditions are you can't just go willy-nilly, give them to anybody you want. The State Department has to approve. That's part of the, the process of having these aircraft. So some of that might fall on what the State Department's allowing them to do yep. with the F-16s. But I don't know. I mean, is there some history uh, that I'm missing? Doc, do you know anything about this? Is this... Uh, in your wheelhouse at all? Definitely not my wheelhouse. <laughs> no. uh, I'm learning a lot from you guys here, but definitely not my area of expertise. Yeah, Maybe I, I should go to Air War College, and then I'll have some answers for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mover. I, I, I mean, if I was a bad man, there's, it's, I mean, it's all money in politics. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm googling it. I'm like, well, I, you know, their national football team doesn't like Argentina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sums it up right there. There's a lot of uh, soccer. Danish big... Argentine citizens that uh, immigrated from Denmark and reside in Argentina. Uh, Danish immigration was intense between the 19th century and early 20th century. Um, I, I don't know specifically why that would it would anger them so much other than the Ukraine thing. And that to me, like I said, that piece is what did the State Department allow them to do? What did um, you know, what is Ukraine capable of accepting at this point? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about it before. Like you said, I mean, if you have all these countries like, Hey, I'll donate, you know, you get the, uh, I mean, there's several countries, right. That are looking to donate F 16s, but how much, how much can Ukraine actually handle? And I'm, I'm sure they're not all the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, somebody said it's the Falklands war, hmm. but I mean, Hmm. Wow, that's yeah. 40 years yeah early 80s right yeah yeah is there anything more recent than that i don't dude i don't know <laughs> yeah okay uh moving on